Is the ex-husband obliged to do that? The answer is no. Isra from Belgium. So my question is, uh, a woman is divorced for the third time and she has a 10 months baby from him and uh, she is given the custody and uh, she doesn't have income because she is divorced. Now she has to uh, go back to her parents. So the question is, um, does the ex-husband uh, oblige to buy her the flight ticket? And also, like, can you explain what is the rights of the divorced woman with the child? So, so the, the custody, the custody is with the, with the woman or with the husband? With the woman. Okay, I will answer, inshallah. From Belgium, she says, um, a, a woman was divorced for the last and third time. So who's obliged to buy her a ticket to go back home? Is the ex-husband obliged to do that? The answer is no. This is the Islamic ruling because once a woman is divorced for the third time, there is no allowance, there is no provision from the ex-husband, there is no uh, shelter to be provided for her. And this is well established in the Sunnah. So the Idda period for the one who's divorced the first time or the second time is three monthly cycles. And within these three monthly cycles, she must be provided by her husband, who just divorced her, with a house to live in, with food, uh, uh, sh um, uh, medicine, etc., all what she needs to sustain a normal, noble life. If she was divorced for the third time, immediately this bond is broken and it's over. So he's not obliged to give her anything nor to buy her the ticket and Allah Azza wa knows best. But if she wants to live somewhere else, if she wants to go to her country and she has the right of custody, this is a, an issue of dispute among scholars. The vast majority say that a divorced woman a separated woman, mother, who has the right of custody cannot take the child out of the country where the husband is. Because this is where they were married, this is the uh, uh, place where he lives, so they should stay there. Some scholars say that this is not a fixed ruling, it depends on the husband, it depends on the woman, it depends on the welfare of the child. Maybe they live in Belgium and it's not a Muslim country and she's going back to a Muslim country where the child would be raised a, a, as a Muslim uh, and practice Islam freely unlike some other countries. So this is judged case by case scenario and not um, a one size that fits all.